Hello everyone and welcome back to another ServiceNow Express video blog post, this time on the topic of live feed as of our Fuji release in Express. Our first item we're going to touch on is just a high level, how the live feed looks and how we can interact with it. The live feed is a great, dynamic, tribal knowledge place for your users to post questions, polls, add-in attachments in a manner that's completely archived. So we can go ahead search for specific tags that have been put through, search for content in a very easily indexed manner. So let's talk about administration in terms of how we can set up new groups, setting up new teams, setting up automated notifications that go in these live feeds and how we can interface with the live feed from throughout the platform. So to begin, why don't we take a look at this concept of group feeds. So we want to create groups for our high-level different departments we may have in the business. Software, hardware, IT, HR, finance. So that there's a nice section users can go to when they have a relevant question. So maybe I'd like to go ahead and create a group feed for HR. We're going to say this is public so anyone can see and join. Or we have the option of making it a private feed. And in a private feed, you can either have it so that no one can see it, only invited members can join. Or we can check mark and leave this on so that anyone can still search it and at least send in a request to join this given group. So let's do HR. We'll do one for Ask HR Questions. I'm simply going to go ahead and create this group in our system. From this given HR group here, we'll see we have four sections. One for all the messages, none so far. Why don't we do a new one, Hello World, and post that we'll see all the members who are part of this group. We're going to be able to understand who the pending members are and this is where we can come in to easily add a user. Maybe I want to add my ITIL user with one click. This is now a pending user. They're going to have to of course accept it but they're now invited. Additionally, the great part is we can also add in teams to be part of this HR group. So let's come down into our teams concept and maybe we want to go ahead and make a new team for our different HR sections. So maybe we have one for payroll, and this is going to be a public team. And in payroll, I'm going to go ahead and I'll add in and invite Abel. Abel's part of payroll. Let's make one more team here for, instead of payroll, this is just going to be, let's say, wellness. So we're going to go ahead and create a wellness group, make another public team. And in wellness, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add system administrator myself. And we could see if I'm already a member of the team, it will let me know. I have two teams now that I made. So teams are more nested. They're smaller items that could roll up easily into a group. As in my HR has the payroll team and the wellness team. So I head back to my group feeds, head back to HR, and I can easily now add these teams. So I'm going to say, hey, I would like to add payroll. Additionally, I would like to add my wellness team. So very quick to add these users, these given groups to, which these teams will be auto-added, to be very simple on here. So we can see members, we have the payroll and wellness team, and then as the actual individual members, one's currently pending, and that's the ITIL user. There are a number of additional important configurations we can make. For example, we can go over to one of our home pages and add in the live feed where it defaults to the company feed for a given user. And this is a great way to get that portion and piece of the platform quickly visible to users right from their dashboards. The next item goes in terms of the live feed administration and making some of that content visibility a lot more visible. So if we come into our search log section, of live feed administration, not only can we understand exactly what users are searching for in case we need to make a knowledge article, but let's click in and walk to some of these related records, such as this live feed profile here. Each user automatically gets a live feed profile on login. And we'll see that not only do we have the profile here, but it's important configuration to make. We can right click configure the related lists and add some of these related live feed lists here. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to add all of them so we can see it for demonstration purposes. But depending on the live feed information that you need to move over, it's very useful to pull that and add these related lists. As an admin, I can immediately understand 
what live feed messages has a given user posted. So here I could see Joe employee posted these given live feed messages. Maybe it's on this given one being down. So this is important as well because maybe there's a live feed message that you need to delete as an administrator. It's a quick way to find that user, find the messages they posted, and then to go ahead and delete that given message. So as an administrator, we can set up what we call live feed notifications. So if I head into my lower right as for my admin homepage to live feed, you'll notice not only can I see my search log configurations, which we'll touch in in a second, but I also could pick table notifications. So let's head down and also create what we call a live table notification. So this allows us to automatically create a new post in live feed based off of whatever conditions we'd like to. So going back to our HR question group we created, instead of having it being a private feed, I'm going to go ahead and edit this, make it a public feed, and so this way we can interface with it easily using our notifications. We're going to head back and let's create a new live table notification. These are automated messages that are going to be created in live feed different groups depending on what kind of conditions. So here you'll see generally out of box there's one for high priority incident opened or incident resolved. These may be set to true or false depending on your configurations. But why don't we talk about making a new one? Specifically for this new HR group we created, let's anytime a priority one HR ticket comes through, notify the given group. So we're going to simply come in here. We're going to pick our table, human resources, and this is one that I've created. We're going to go ahead and say on insert, we'd like to post to live feed, and it's going to be our HR feed group that we created early in, in the demonstration. We're going to follow through picking specific conditions. So we're going to say anytime our priority is one, please alert everyone for a high priority alert. Why don't we put in the number so maybe users can easily search for it if they'd like to. So I'm simply going to go ahead and very similar to my email notifications, I'll pick the number of my high priority alert. Simply finding N for number here. Let's add that in there. And then additionally, I'll add the description. So I simply find this field as well. And we're going to click to add that in there. And I'll simply go ahead and press submit. So why don't we test this new human resources live feed notification. Let's test it out. To begin, keep in mind so far under our live feed for our human resources group, we didn't really have any notifications other than hello world. So we're going to be able to see if our notification comes into play. I'll head over to this new human resources section I've created through table creation. I'll create a new one and let's say this is our test payroll issue and we're going to do priority one. And I'm simply going to go ahead and submit this into the system. So if we head back now to our live feed section, there's my short description, this test payroll issue. So here's our message using that live feed notification. Finally, we can also interface with live feed via mobile, easily coming in to utilize the platform to head over to live feed and to be able to join those same areas due to a different few clicks, however. So if we want to find a group feed, we can click into group feeds, see which feeds we're already part of, find new feeds we may not be part of. So if I come into all feeds, we're going to be able to see that there's our HR feed that we've just created earlier here. We can go ahead and join that right via mobile. We can click in to that actual feed in order to see what the posts are. We can like the posts from our mobile. We can create new posts very simply as well. So we're going to click in and we're going to do a new live feed post here. And I'm simply going to press done and post. And just like that, we have Joe Employee posting for mobile and it's interactive here on desktop or whatever tablet device the user may be using. Hopefully your business can find ways to leverage and utilize our searchable dynamic live feed knowledge for the built-in form style functionality within your business environment.